Here's a big uh, spruce tree floating down. There's quite a few of them yesterday. They must have come from along the edge of the the river up there. There's spruce up in that country there. Maybe even the Torch River, because I understand we got a bunch of rain up there, and that's why we're getting a lot more water over here. So, as you can see, uh, the water is really uh, starting to move in here, and. Uh, coming pretty good but my cabins are still dry right now but uh looks like maybe with the water that they forecast uh if it does go to 3500 while well, we're we're looking at water going into the cabins right now we're uh it's just basically over the yard here and it's uh it's coming into the property here. You can see as I'm walking to where uh, I got to get some stuff out of this building today because it it might, you know, go into the. We need some uh, stuff out of there uh, that I can take take with me to Cumberland House. Uh, most of the stuff we try to put up as high as possible. And uh, we'll just have to leave that and see uh, how uh, how it uh, does. There you can see as I go back this way where I had the dogs. They would have been uh, standing in water already. So very good thing I got all them, all the dogs out of here. You can see where they would have been there. It all in the water there, so it's a good thing I took the the pups out of their little pen. They would have been swimming while I. And you can see uh, where we're at here uh, so far, and uh, probably what's happening now too is the water would be coming in from the backside. I'm walking towards uh, the west over here, and there's a big lake in the back there. And I'm sure that's really all filled up. And uh, I see I got to move some of my uh, tubs over there. And then, so the dogs would have been in the water. I'm glad Renee came to get me, but I, I would have been here anyway, and I would have got them to higher ground. My dad and I uh, and Lawrence Cook in the one flood we were at here we uh, the water was uh, I think it's going to be that high and back in that uh, year we uh, we went down where this water is going this is our trail over here we went we had to escape going that way uh, to a higher ground, maybe about, oh, I'd say uh, seven kilometers over there. There's a high ridge there where uh, where we were able to go go to, and uh, and as you can see, the the water is really pouring in and coming through the yard now, and uh, it's getting towards. It's uh, it's coming to our uh, cemetery over here. You can see, and uh, we uh, we tried to uh, put some stuff away here, and you know we'll see what happens when when we get back. We uh, what I did here was I uh, I put antlers on top where the grave sites are. Uh, my father-in-law John's cross there we took out just because it wasn't anchored properly and then my daughter Jacqueline there her rock her uh, cross is pretty good so we uh and then we just put the antlers in on her uh, grave there and then my dad's rock there that that's going to stay there so and it's a little higher here so we're uh 
we might be okay there for a bit. And then as I walk towards the, you can really hear the mosquitoes. They love, love that high water. They can breed more. And you can see the, uh, the water is underneath the house right now, coming through our main part building. So uh, we got, it looks like we got a two feet to or, or more yet there to spare, but uh, well, I'm hoping uh, with a log building like that, it's a, a lot more uh, harder to clean up, you know, when we have to. Uh, I gotta take it apart and then uh, take all the insulation out on between the logs and well that's gonna be a lot of work but uh, we'll see maybe we'll be spared from that looks like they're trying to prevent that at the dam by uh, releasing enough you know so that it doesn't go over the highway and the highway right now is really saving a lot of stuff because if it wasn't for the highway they'd just let that water go and then, and then we'd be in real a lot of trouble so so far we're doing okay here but this is just the early part of the, the flood so uh, I guess that's it for a little while for a while here I gotta get some stuff out of one of our buildings here some some photos you know stuff uh, families like to keep and so I'm going to take that to Cumberland House today and and uh, I will see where uh, we'll end up and there's Renee's little log there still blocking the water Renee so anyway uh, floods are good for a delta I guess and uh, I know that and but I hope this water goes by fast. Anyway, talk to you later.